Tony, have you made your Super Bowl picks yet? I have not. I really don't like to do that until kind of mid-September when you get to see people and how they mesh. Uh, I'll, I'll say this. You, you look at Carolina, and they – have a good defensive unit. They've got the MVP. Their quarterback is back. They've got all the weaponry to go. That's who I kind of look at. Who's, who's got their quarterback in place? Who's got a defense that can, can get there? You could look at Carolina. You look at Seattle. Uh, you look at possibly at Green Bay. AFC side, I, I think you still have to look at New England. Uh, they'll have Tom Brady back in four weeks. Pittsburgh, I think, is going to be better on defense. They've got their quarterback in place. But you have to see how all that meshes. So I guess call me in a month. <laughs> I can is, tell it, you. is there any team that you that you like to kind of come out of nowhere like Carolina did potentially? You know, I, I've living in Florida, I've heard the buzz about Jacksonville. I really like Gus Bradley and what he's brought to the table. And they have, they have put pieces in place and they haven't had a great deal of success over the last two years, but the pieces are coming together. They've got a dynamic passing game, two great receivers. I think they're going to be better on defense. They, they uh, will have some young defensive players. Um, I, I like where Jacksonville is, and I, I think they've got a chance to make some noise this year. The Dan Patrick Show, weekday mornings on Audience.